it looked to me more like an event for the true believer than for the fun lover. What did you make of it, Mick Jagger? I think I think it was sort of fun lover. I think uh, I think everyone was, I mean, obviously after you've been up for 36 hours, a bit tired, <clears throat> much in the mood for fun. But uh, maybe the first 24 hours you're really having fun. I thought it was fantastic. But uh, it, the, the the whole thing of the sort of awareness of uh, of the colour of colour and light and dressing up and, and which we just seen is sort of mu much of it was uh, brought on perhaps um, through LSD or something. So the, the becoming more aware of that kind of uh, spectacle and LSD has done something towards that. That's what, what that's about, more or less. What do you yeah, say, John? Kirk? Well, I think the word believer is apt. The the, the energies which. Uh, tapped on these occasions were in a former epoch called upon by religious uh, events of cults well these are cults and in fact these extraordinary spectacles um, are the signs of an unprecedented release in the energies of the young in ever new forms and shapes we've got an atomic energy commission we ought to have an adolescent energy commission and with the future is going to see much more of this experimentation and demand for the expression of these energies, this exuberance, which has no outlet. It's not religion, it's not the army, there's nothing that the elders and betters can offer the young which will satisfy their demands for, for danger even too, for new experience. But I don't think we need and a commission. Well, it's the last thing. We need. Yes, well, you I mean, know, you know, you know what I mean. The last thing that I want is for it to be organised. It's got to be spontaneous. But what I mean is that uh, this should be expected and allowed for and sanctioned. But what do you make of the actual break between the, at that B in so called? Uh, there didn't seem to be much in the way of organised entertainment. People were actually doing it for themselves. What do you make of that? There's, there seems to be a complete breakdown there between the the stage in the auditorium between the performer and the performed act. Yes, well, I, I think there is this demand now for everybody to be somebody, for everybody to be in it, for this participation to be complete and comprehensive, not for there to be the sacred element worshipped, adored by the, the, the secular, the profane multitude. Th that is a thing of the past. Everybody now wants to be in it. This is the, the, the democratization. You know, everybody, like. everybody wants to, to be with other people who believe in the same things as more or less the same things as they do, and, and show and show affection for them, for each other. Perhaps people they don't know, but you know, just to have a good time in this way, to be with people, to be with a lot of people, and have a good time and do things together. Perhaps with someone you've never seen before, and throw things and colours at him. It's, it's really. And, that's what it is. Do we find Whistle Test presenter...